Hello to everybody in YouTube, Internet, Facebook, MySpace, whatever you might be watching this on land. I'm Jason, and I'm a nerd. And I'm going to attack you, which would make this attack of the nerd, I guess. Yeah. Um, not really, you know, a full-fledged episode, but enough. Anyways, I just wanted to pop on. Um, nerd movie came out this weekend called Prince of Persia of the Sands of Time. If you are a gamer, then you know this game very well. It is a classic among console and, uh, I guess, PCs, but Sands of Time was really a console game, and it became a classic. Uh, the movie, distributed by Disney and produced by Jerry Bruckheimer, was just released this weekend. I went in knowing full well that it was not going to be you know, straight off the game's plot. When you think about the game's plot and the gameplay of the game, you really can't turn that into a movie without adding some more plot or adding some more characters and stuff because there's only three characters throughout the entire game. Everybody else is dead. Oh, dropped my phone. Anyways, everybody else is dead. So, you know, it's it's got to change a little bit and, you know, movie audiences won't like seeing some guy just run up a wall again and again and again. So, obviously, they had to change it. But they did leave some things in the game, uh, from the game in the movie. Obviously, the Dagger of Time, which can rewind time. They did not incorporate any of the slow motion or speed up effects that the original game had, but that's okay. Um, the rewind time effects were tremendous. Uh, some of the best CG I've ever seen was in that movie, actually. Um, very, very well done plot. Jake Gyllenhaal did great as the prince. Um, hot chick princess, which I cannot remember her name for the life of me. She did great as well, and she amazingly easy on the eyes and uh ben kingsley played a great bad guy which you know was coming but uh, that's okay overall it was a pretty good movie um a decent video game adaptation unlike most um still silent hill number one for me silent hill will always be number one it's the most true video game adaptation i mean the most that they change is Instead of it being uh, the guy from the video game, they make it a chick as the main character. Other than that, it's pretty much the exact same as the game. So, you know, you need to uh, work on staying true to the games. But Prince of Persia was good in its own aspect. I can definitely see it branching off our trilogy. I would like it if they went into Prince of Persia The Two Thrones or Warrior Within. Uh, Warrior Within was actually uh, M-rated, which is interesting because the rest were T. But a Warrior Within was definitely awesome. And I, I definitely think that they should do those two more because that'd be cool. Hint, Disney, do it. Be smart. Uh, this is the first Disney movie to come, good Disney movie to come out in a while. So I suggest going to check it out. One of the things that made it such an awesome experience for me is last night I had heard about this thing called D Box. I was looking for showtimes and. You know, there's this thing that said, oh, D-Box coming to a theater near you. I'm like, all right, what's D-Box? Click on it, and it turns out it's motion seats in that are um, specially synced with the movie. So, like, uh, say you're watching Fast and Furious, for example. Um, every time a car, you know, is going by, or if you're in the car, the seat will start rumbling. And then if you go left, the seat will go left. If the car goes right, the seat will go right. And um, if it goes over a jump, the seat will go boom, boom. It's pretty cool. So I was like, ah, oh, well, that's kind of cool. Probably don't have anything like that in Reno. Sure enough, uh, there was one out in Carson, which is, it was about a half hour drive for me. And, um, so I was like, hmm, how much are tickets? 15 bucks a pop. 15 bucks, almost as pricey as IMAX. But I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go out and I'm going to see Prince of Persia in D-Box. So I went with my girlfriend. Um, we are both movie fanatics. She'll be in one of my reviews later on. Uh, we went to this uh, D-Box thing in the Casino Fandango Theater in Carson City. We didn't really know what to expect. Um, we were kind of thinking along the lines of Boomtown Motion Theater where, you know, you hang on. It's really intense, but they didn't have any seat belts or anything. Um, they have assigned seats for the special D-Box. Like some of them were D-Box seats. Some of them weren't best part was the D-Box seats were the best seats in the house, like right in the center of the theater, which was cool. And um, so you were you had assigned seats that they would assign a number to you, and you would just sit in that seat, and that would be activated for you. And we're like, okay, we don't really know what, what to expect. So the trailers start going. Um, first two trailers, nothing. It was just 
you know, whatever. And then the Tron trailer, the new Tron Legacy trailer, starts playing. And, you know, I, I could have sworn I felt my seat rumbling a little bit. And I was like, hey, babe, do you feel that? And, you know, she did. And she's like, what is that? And then uh, the if you've ever seen the Tron Legacy trailer, it opens up and the camera is panning around uh, city building. Well, our entire seat starts moving. It starts going like this, as if we're, like, moving with the building, with the camera. And then, you know, it feels like we're going around this building. The seat is adjusting to how the camera is moving. And I was like, oh, God, this is awesome. And then, uh, you know, it slowed down a little bit. Um, there were some parts, like, uh, when the laser is uh, charging up to get ready to transfer the kid into the game, the seat starts rumbling, like, and it gets more and more intense. And then it launched off, and it went, boom, and it, like, shot you back a little bit. And it was so cool. And then, uh, you know, once the trailer gets more intense, such as the part where they're throwing the flying discs at each other and stuff, it was reacting to how they were throwing them. Like, they'd throw them to the right, and the thing would move to the right, and swerve to the right, and then shudder as soon as it hit something. And I was like, oh, gosh, the end of this trailer is going to be awesome. And the end of the trailer, um, after the title comes up, when it shows the bikes, that's the part that I was talking about. I was super excited for so, the trailer, you know, ends, and it's freaking awesome. We're just like, holy crap. And then the bikes come down, and you feel it rumbling in your seat, and then it, you see the bike land, and then you start swerving with the bike, and then it hits the, the color code, and it flies off, and your seat, like, pushes you forward a little bit. And, oh, it was incredible. It was an experience. And then Prince of Persia started. And uh, basically, with every uh, camera movement, whenever it, you know, go up and pan around a certain thing, the seat would move with it. Um, every fight scene, it would be, uh, you know, the seat would, like, move and dodge with the person, and then every time somebody would get hit or throw a punch, you would feel boom, boom, and the, like, seat would vibrate as if you took a punch. Or um, any time, you know, Jake Gyllenhaal is performing some kind of acrobatic feat, the seat would repeat that in, uh, you know, its own way. And it was, oh, it was really an experience, and it really puts you in the movie. Like, right now, there's 3D, there's 3D IMAX, um, digital this was a digital screen um this movie isn't in 3d so it wasn't 3d but uh it was it was an experience and it really put you like right there in the movie and it was really really cool if you guys have a d-box theater near you go to it anybody in reno take that drive out to carson spend the 15 bucks see a movie in d-box it was it was cool it was really cool so anyways that's attack of the nerd a little update um, I'm gonna be doing a full video soon reviewing a couple games. I might just do one like this. Uh, let me know what you guys think, alright? Jason out.